Hey guys, in this video I am going to show you how to correctly play the right hand technique of the arpeggio. So if you'd like to play something like this, then stick around. So an arpeggio is basically just a free stroke on the right hand. Usually the three most popular ones would be going downwards, or coming up, or just looping all the way around. Now any other combination would also count as an arpeggio, but for today we're just going to work on the three most basic versions which are perfect for beginners. Alright, so let's get a little bit more precise into the mechanics of how the arpeggio works now. Okay, number one, I like to use the method of planting, and it's a classical guitar technique that really works well for the descending pattern when you're going downwards. So all planting is, is when you're planting your fingers on the strings, you're basically planting your three fingers, your index, middle, and ring, on the trebles. So you're going to have them all ready to go. Okay, now before you try that, just let me walk you through a few more steps. Now when you strike each string, your goal is to follow through and release. Follow through and release. Follow through and release. So first we plant, now we follow through, release, follow through, release, follow through and release. Number three, how are we following through? You do not want to pull, you want to think of it as a pushing motion. So you're pushing towards the palm, pushing towards the palm, pushing towards the palm, pushing that direction. You don't necessarily want to push that far, but that's the direction that we're pushing. Now, I get a lot of beginner students that either they're, they're new to guitar or they come from other styles of guitar. Maybe they've played some other types of steel string acoustic or other types of rock guitar. So they get more of a plucking sound, which is not what we want to do for Spanish guitar. So you know you're doing it wrong if you're getting that plucking, popping sound, and if you're pulling towards your own knuckle. You definitely want to push towards the palm. Now tell me if you could hear the difference. Pulling. Now I'm going to push. Alright, so number four. If you're doing an ascending pattern going upwards, you can't really plant. It just makes it for awkward technique. So what you can do is just do individual planting. Uh, you still don't want to be striking out of nowhere from the air. It just causes for more of a loose hand. So you want to individually plant. And you're going to start off with your third finger already planted. Your ring finger should already be on the string. As you're following through and releasing, you want to have the middle finger already planting on the on the next string. So if I freeze frame, as soon as I hit the third finger, the second one should already be planting on the next string. All right, number five, the thumb. So if you're doing a classical piece, most of the time it's gonna be a free stroke thumb going in the air. And if you're doing a flamenco piece, most of the time it's going to be a rest thumb. Although that's not always the case, the main point is that whether you're doing the free stroke or the rest stroke, you want to get the thumb motion mostly from the knuckle. You don't want to use your hand a lot so that the hand stays stable. So you want to try to keep that hand as stable as possible, really as, as much as you can. So some of the best players just you see that hand really stable with no motion there. All right, so I know it's a lot to remember, but that's one of the reasons I like to keep exercises really simple and just focused on the right hand. So let's get to the exercises. The first exercise will be the descending pattern going downwards. We're going to pluck the sixth string and then we are going to pluck the arpeggio. Pluck the fifth string. Now the next exercise is the same thing. We're just going to do the ascending pattern going upwards.
Now, the last exercise is just doing a combination of both. We're just gonna go down and then up. Now, I know these exercises seem very basic, but if you're just starting off with a guitar, I think they are all you need to start creating your nice foundation. If you already have some experienced guitar and you feel like they're a little too basic, I still do challenge you to, to make sure you go down that checklist and see if you're accomplishing everything the way I was talking about. Now, besides the basic technique series for beginners, I'll be posting some more progressively difficult exercises as we go along. And if you definitely, if you have any recommendations, feel free to leave me a comment. If this video was helpful, please leave me a like as that helps the channel out. And if you'd like to keep following me, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, and see you next time. Keep practicing.